Hey guys it's Commander here back with another TDS video, today I am finally able to show you the up power of Cliff Towers vs the new boss, we shall easily come out victorious and no one shall stand in our way. LMAO Commander you really think you can defeat the nuclear monster when you couldn't even beat Fallen Mode? You even got some friends to assist you so you don't lose so horribly. Anyways good luck on your adventure to beating polluted wastelands too. Also you talk about how you love Cliff Tower so much but so far your team has only placed farms and toxic gunners. Bruh stop talking I have a well strategized plan to destroy these zombies with Cliff Towers and some supports. Bruh why do you keep getting supports to do all the work all the time then? Just stop talking and watch me destroy these zombies like always only using support towers bruh 3 days later Alright it's finally time to place our first cliff tower down Wow commander it's wave 11 and you are finally placing a cliff tower down I was thinking that this turned into a support towers only challenge Just shush up silly dog commander and watch my amazing plan get put into action Alright let's get this sniper down Wait what where are all the cliff placement places? Ha commander all the places in green are the only places you can place cliff towers down you noob. I can't believe you didn't even know that but you try to educate TDS players about how to place towers but you're not even educated yourself. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE Bro I must below hate on my cliff towers so much. It's like everyone is against me with wanting to see cliff towers do good and be used in TDS more often. We all want to see cliff towers get used more commander but you just love these cliff towers way too much since you think you are invincible with them all the time. Just watch me still win with basically no cliff tower space at all. Bro when will commander ever learn? Look Daw Commander see how the sniper is defending us against the hiddens. Chill Commander this sniper has literally done 0.01% of the damage so far throughout the game. This sniper deserves no praise at all since even Medic is doing better against the hiddens which is kinda sad. Also imagine still having one cliff tower at wave 15. You are disrespecting your cliff tower so much right now by maxing out a Medic before getting a second sniper down. Just keep watching man soon my cliff towers will be dominating all the enemies. Now we have 4 cliff towers da commander. Soon the cliff towers army will destroy everything. Oh do you want a cookie with getting a few more towers? Anyways let's move on to one of the hardest waves in polluted wastelands too. And let's watch as these support towers carry everyone. Look out for the giant boss. Alright we have enough rangers to destroy this boss now. He shall not stand a chance against our team. LOL commander you know that the only reason you may win this wave will be due to the sledgers freezing the boss a bunch of times to carry. Your rangers will only be doing 20% of the work while these hardworking support towers do the other 80. Give more props to the support towers commander man. You have it all wrong da commander the rangers are the ones doing 80% of the damage here. Please stop dissing my precious cliff tower. Towers, it's very mean man. Bro without the support towers constantly stopping the enemies from advancing these cliff towers do not stand a chance. Anyway since we were able to destroy this annoying tanky boss it's time to get more cliff towers down and build our army even stronger. Easy! A uh, bro what is happening right now? Why are the sledgers not keeping these tanky bosses still so that the rangers can carry? I am very disappointed in how poorly these support towers are helping out my cliff army right now. Nice the rangers are dealing a decent amount of damage to this tanky boss. Come on kill the boss before these zombies help regain all its HP. Come on we were only 600 HP from killing this annoying tanky boss but now we must destroy it all over again. This is all due to the sledgers freezing the boss way too much. I can't believe that we might lose right now all because of the support towers. But you guys are in luck since we are placing more of the opcliff towers to stop the enemies dead in their tracks.
See look at how adding some more rangers can help us easily beat that annoying boss. You TDS players can learn a thing or two from the epic tips that I provide. It's a proven fact. No it isn't stop lot. Um anyways let's upgrade our cliff towers even more so that we can be prepared for the later bosses. Easy! LOL so this is all the cliff towers that you can place. So much for cliff towers only, this is pretty much 15% cliff towers, and the rest is supports. You are showcasing the power of how good supports are more than your cliff towers. Just stop talking Doc Commander and let's just get on with this game so you can see my team destroy. Oh yeah Commander now that it is wave 30 I must say that I am happy that you finally fixed your dialogue so that you say stun correctly now. Hey stop it Doc Commander I am trying to focus on the battle to defeat this annoying mode right now. Wave 30 is one of the toughest waves for us since the boss is very fast and can't get affected by the support towers. So now you will finally see the amazing power on how up these few cliff towers can- Bruh I blame this all on the support towers they brought the whole team down in the end I shall never use them ever again hashtag cliff towers are superior.